Welcome. This is the uh, Tennessee end of course uh, algebra one practice test number three question 42 this is a experimental probability question the question says two coins are tossed 450 times and that's an important feature to this question just because of the fact that that's my total so 450 times is important people uh, the results are shown below so I'm going to toss two coins in the hair in the air uh, there are certain situations when neither of them land on heads so uh, that would be both tails, I guess. So that happened 135 times out of the 450. You might want to add these up to make sure it's 450. Spoiler alert, it is. Now, the next setting would be I would get one head and one tail. So let's change the outcome. And on this one, that would be two tails. And then two heads and no tails. It's cat dog. He has two heads and no tail, if you know who that is. Anyway, so what I want to know is the experimental probability of getting one head and one tail, I guess. So let's extend that out. So one coin up, one coin down. I guess you could pick one of them up off the ground, it's lucky, and the other one you don't touch. I don't know how it works anymore. Anyway, experimental probability is set up where I want the uh, preferred action. So in our case, the preferred situation would be uh, a situation where one of the quarters is up and one of the quarters is down. So that happened. 125 times. So I'm going to use that as the top of my ratio. On the bottom, I want to put the total number of trials. And from here, all I, uh, 450, not 405. From here, all I need to do is make sure that I do uh, sort of a reduction of the fraction. So if, however you have to make that happen, you can do a division and then convert it into a fraction if you like. If you have a fraction component to your calculator, that'll work as well. So 5 over 18. So my answer to number 43, possibly one of the worst worded questions of all time, is A. So that's it. Make sure when you have an experimental probability component to your question that you put the total on the bottom and then whatever they want to know about that goes on top of your fraction and then just reduce that thing out or do the division if it's a decimal.